Hello, my name is Tom Shea. I represent International Motor Works. I specialize in hybrid compressed gas and electric low-speed vehicle technology. Uh, we have uh, really been leading the charge on some of these technologies for a number of years and most recently got involved with a company called Columbia Car Car Corporation which is based out of Reedsburg, Wisconsin. They have been making uh, electric low-speed vehicles for over 50 years and the newest entry into the marketplace is the Columbia Mega which is right here behind me. This is a vehicle that was developed by the French and Columbia Car Car was asked to partner with them to market this vehicle in the United States. This vehicle will be Amer is being Americanized right now and will be represented by Columbia Park Car and will be manufactured in Wisconsin. This vehicle comes in basically two versions, an off-road application or a, what we call a low-speed vehicle neighborhood electric vehicle. This vehicle is street legal in most states that can, it can operate on streets that are posted 35 miles an hour or less and it's mandated by the federal government they not exceed 25 miles an hour top speed. The people that are looking at this up and beyond the normal consumer is the federal government, uh, colleges and universities, utilities. Uh, there's been a lot of interest expressed in this by a lot of retailing companies, floral, floral companies, uh, even some national pizza chains that are looking at ways to lower their costs and to deliver their products. The big thing for them is to study whether or not the road system will accommodate their way of doing business with the technology, the way it is presented, and the rules that this car type of vehicle has to follow. So how, what, how does this compare in terms of the kind of standard delivery? Well, this particular vehicle right here is, I think, about 100, 100, cubic, 100 cubic feet of, of uh, of um, storage space, uh, <clears throat> there's there's various options for this chassis. This is just one as a cargo van, but you can get a dump body on this that has a hydraulic lift that's you know that's propelled by electricity. Uh, ideal for landscapers, yeah. uh, for uh, uh, utilities that are. Uh, going out and mowing lawns, they can put their lawn mowers in the back of this. There are drop sides that are available. There are actually aftermarket refrigeration units that can be put into these. The U.S. Postal Service is looking at this type of a van application for potential solar application on the roof. So there's just a multitude of ways that this might assist a, a family or a company with their operations, and uh, we haven't really, uh, we haven't, you know, this isn't the full solution to what we're trying to accomplish, but this is one of, of many ways that will uh, help us reduce our carbon footprint, uh, make business in our own personal lives more efficient, and uh, zero emissions, I guess, is a, you know, a very positive aspect of this tech, of this electric technology.